the sign survive the Titanic? Yes to Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Pisces. And no to Leo. Having a picture of your girlfriend as the lock screen on your phone is the 21st century equivalent of keeping a locket with her picture in it. This is actually such an adorable comparison. Not if you watch School Days! I'm getting flashbacks, man! Instead of desexualizing women's Halloween costumes, we should sexualize men's costumes and make it equal. I want boys in underwear and cat ears. I like your style, kid. Good non-gendered words to say instead of dude to someone who doesn't want to be called a dude. Buddy, bud, pal, neighbor, mate, Partner? Don't forget, comrade. Mortal. Boring and disrespectful. Oh, I can't survive without my morning coffee. Energy drinks make it so that I can get through my boring work and so on. Living properly. Treating caffeinated beverages like very mysterious and powerful magical potions that give us unforeseen abilities. Dude, 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 drink 15 cups of coffee in a day and you can clip through walls. Potion seller? I am going into battle and I require your strongest potion. Trenta Macchiato plus five shots as usual then? F*** me up. Get me that knowledge juice, mage! Welcome to Dunkin' Donuts. Do you ever just sit there and wonder what life must be like for people without anxiety? Like, they just... do things. Without worrying about them first, wow! Anxiety is an excuse. I hope you walk barefoot on a world of Legos for the rest of your life! This is the chemical formula for love. Dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin. It can be easily manufactured in a lab, but overdosing on any of them can cause schizophrenia, extreme paranoia, and insanity. Let that sink in. Dude, that's so fricked up. Dude, that's my chemical romance. I went to the farmer's market yesterday, and at the Honey Guy's booth, there were all these bees just hanging out. Checking out the beeswax tabs, floating around the honey jars, not being aggressive, just really gentle and investigating or something. I don't know how bees work. And as he was giving me a sample of the wildflower honey, one of them landed on his hand, and he just took a drop from the jar and dabbed it onto his hand for the bee. When I asked if they were his bees, he said, no, but they show up every time I come out. I think they just know my truck. And this guy is well known among the local bees and lets him sit on his hand and eat his honey. And I really, really just like this bee guy. Dude, what more of an endorsement could you help for? I don't want to alarm you, but you met a freaking forest nymph. Squidward literally lives in a deluxe three-floor loft. And he's a cashier. Squidward must be on back page selling ass. Dude, SpongeBob's crib got like ten rooms, a library, and a baby grand piano. I'm starting to think the Krusty Krab is just a front. The Krusty Trap. <laughs> I mean, it is shaped like a lobster trap. Once I was walking home with some law school friends and they were like, why are you walking up that street? Your street is like three more streets up. Yeah, but there's a house on this street and sometimes their golden retriever naps in the sun on the sidewalk and I like to give them belly rubs. Now all the law students walk up belly rub laid because law school is stressful and dogs rock. And I bet that is the happiest dog. I'm trying very hard to live by cat principles. I am glorious above all things. I eat when hungry, sleep when sleepy, and play when bored. Affection is given and received on my terms and only mine. Show displeasure clearly. No! Demand the things you want. If they aren't given, demand them again, but louder this time. If you are touched when you don't want to be, say so. If they continue to touch you, make them bleed. I think cats are really onto something here. Since my stepdad cheated on my mom and he's being an ass, I put a crap ton of that tasteless powder laxative in all of his diet shake mixes. He won't notice until he shards himself and not be able to figure out why. Update, he soiled himself at Walmart and I haven't seen my mom laugh and smile that much for months. You are a hero! Oh my god, I'm at the grocery store and there's this guy in the frozen section who has tweaked off his balls on some kind of hallucinatory drug. I'm in the next aisle meowing softly through the cereal boxes where he can't see me, and he is losing his mind pulling pizza boxes out of the freezer and yelling that he needs to save the popsicle cat. My bad person. August, September, Halloween, November, December. I think you mean August, September, Halloween, Turkey, Christmas. I believe it's sparrowed hot as balls, frick at school again, Halloween, Turkey, Christmas. Don't forget New Year's, forever alone, windy as frick. Crap, it's raining. Allergies. Oh, hey, it's actually decent. Wait, never mind. 
And a partridge in a pear tree. Man, humans are lame. Why don't we have, like, wings and horns and whatever? Humans can't even handle having different skin colors. How well do you really think that would go? That's basically the plot of X-Men. LITERALLY THE PLOT OF X-Men! F is for friends who do stuff without you. U is for uninvited. C is for clinging on to hope that you won't keep getting forgotten. K is for Krispy Kreme yum. This is not what I wanted this poster to turn out like. One time I got in the shower. It came out and no one was home and the lights were off. My entire family went bowling and forgot about me. Down here in the deep blue sea.